Hello guys, this is lesson 7 of your HTML5 crash course and in today's lesson we'll be going over links and images. Alright guys, so we're back in VS Code and we'll head into our reference box and we'll create a new file and we'll call this for underscore links underscore images dot html and then we'll do the usual thing we'll generate a boilerplate and then we'll go inside the title and create oh, sorry create a title call it links and images we'll just close that off and then we'll open this up in live server so that we can see what we're doing uh, right so we'll go inside the body so with links, um, HTML links are hyperlinks, so uh, you can click on these links and you can jump to another doc type or another website or another uh, section of your website if it's multi-layered. Uh, when you move a mouse over a link, the mouse will, uh, will turn into a little hand indicating that this is a link. So the syntax of a link is a pretty simple one, it's just A. It's also referred to as an anchor tag. So we'll just put A, hit tab, and it, that's it, it'll generate it for us. And in context, we'll put visit Apple website so in the browser you can see it's already it's already got some default settings the anchor tag um, and when you hover over it uh, it turns into a little hand so this indicates that it's a link now you've noticed you might notice here that there's a href attribute so this is the most important um, attribute of an, an anchor tag and uh, this specifies the link's destination and all uh, locations will have a href attribute so if we wanted to visit the Apple website we can so what we do is we put https colon forward slash forward slash www.apple.com and we'll go on this and you can see it takes us to the Apple website which is really pretty cool but um, you might have noticed that if I click on this um, it takes us away from our web page so um, this is cool and it does show that the uh, link is working but for our benefit uh, it's really good practice to make sure that external links to your website open a new tab and this will make sure that your website uh, is still showing and people don't get diverted away from your content so the way we do this what I'll do I'm just gonna go back here I'll duplicate this actually I'll create a line break first because anchor tags are inline level elements um, which I'll explain in a later video but um, what a line break does is just put the it'll put our new anchor anchor tag in a new line so we'll just go underneath this and now I'll go down whereas if I took these away you can see it pops next to it but again like I said I'll explain what block and inline level elements mean but let's go back to the on a new line so the way we would um, divert this anchor tag to another tab would be the target attribute so what we do is we write in target here and we put underscore blank and now if we click on this you can see it opens up in another tab now this is what we want because um, as I explained um, you don't want people diverting away from your website so you can see here, see here that your website is still showing and uh, the Apple website opens up in a new tab so again really useful uh, let's just put some comments here actually quickly Links. As well as having external links, we can have internal links. And what we'd use uh, internal links for is to create, um, is to jump to different sections of our website. So if our website is multi-layered, so as you can see here in the Apple one, this is um, they're all list items with, with, um, wrapped in anchor tags, or uh, anchor tags wrapped in list items. So um, because it's a multi a multi um, layered website, uh, this is perfect for a navigation bar um, and internal links. So where, the way we can demonstrate this in our reference box is if we create, we should put a comment here saying internal links. And then we'll create a few line breaks. And we'll just go into our website. And then what we'll do is I'll create an A tag. And then we'll say, let's say we want to visit, what can we visit? Uh, we'll visit the meta tags um, section of our reference box so let's just say visit meta tags now the way we do this um, within our reference box is we'd hit forward slash and it will back up into this section here and then we can go 
we can click meta tags.html. Now, if we click this, it takes us to our uh, meta tags file. So again, this is how this is this is how you would um, use internal links. So let's talk about images now, guys. Let me just back into our other file, and we'll close that off, and we'll create a comment saying images. Oh images and then underneath the images create a few more line breaks now with images um, websites in the modern day are very colorful and image heavy so images are a great way to make your website look modern and pretty and the way to embed an image in your HTML is through the image tag which I've demonstrated in a previous video but we'll go into in more depth about it now so image IMG hit tab and there you go, and it has no closing tag, that's because it has no content, it's self-closing. It only has uh, the attributes which, it, which are um, generated here through Emmet. Now the source attribute here, or SRC, uh, specifies the path to the image. Uh, the ALT, alt or alternative, um, specifies any alternative text for the image, if the image for some reason can't be displayed. So I'll just demonstrate what I mean by that. So just say we had an image of a football, we've put in the alternative text football, and that's because if the image for some reason didn't load up for whatever reason, um, uh, the alternative text will display instead. So that's what you would use the alternative attribute for. Now, you might have noticed in the file here, I've put an image folder. Um, that's because I've got uh, personal images here that I want to use for my website. So these are what you would call um, internal images. So I just put uh, a comment here saying internal images. And we'll go underneath this. Now, these types of images are what you use primarily for personal use. So for example, if you had a company with a team in it and wanted to use these images of them, and then you'd create this folder and put all your personal, you'd create this folder here and put all your personal images inside. And then you would just link um, all your image sources to that image file. So let me just demonstrate this by creating a team. So what we'll do is we'll uh, create a H1 and we'll say my team. And then we'll go underneath here and then we'll put h3 and we'll say mankind and then underneath here we'll put our image tag and now the way we go into this folder is just a forward slash and you see the drop down menu go down to images and you'd pick the mankind image and there he is and then in alternative you'd put mankind now we'll duplicate this two more times so shift alt down and what we'll do is, because um, images are inline uh, level elements, we want to put them on a new line. So we'll just put a few line breaks under each image. So they go in a new line. Uh, I think, yeah, that's that one. And then next we've got uh, my favorite, good old Ray Mysterio. Uh, what's his, yeah, there he is. And then just put Ray in alternative text. And we'll change the H3 to, to Ray. <clears throat> and then last but not least, we've got Death himself, Undertaker. What a boss he was back in the day. Um, Undertaker. And then, yeah, you see now all the images, that's my team. But you could notice how all the images, well, these two aren't, but um, Undertaker images, different sizes. Um, I would usually use a, I would usually use a, um, a, a CSS external CSS file to um, change the size of these, but you can actually change uh, the sizes in HTML. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way because it can get a bit confusing and can kind of mix up your design. But um, I'll just demonstrate quickly how we could do this. So we'd use the attribute of height, and we'll put 150 pixels. And then the attributes of width, and we'll put 150 pixels. Now, I've changed his name as well. Um, so we'll just copy and paste this and put these in the other ones. Copy, paste there, paste there. And now it should, yep, and now all the images are the same size. Again, like I said, it wouldn't really. Um, uh, style them this way. I'd use an external CSS file, but just just show you there's different ways you can style um, images 
uh, with HTML. Right guys, like always, just a, re a quick recap of what we learned in this lesson. Uh, we learned that links are hyperlinks. Uh, the href attribute is the most important attribute for the link tag or the anchor tag. Uh, we use the target attribute so we don't divert our uh, people away from our content. It will open up in a new tab. Uh, links are really useful for internal use, so such as navigation bars. Um, <clears throat> you, uh, images are really desired in modern websites, so um, you probably want to use them quite often. And the image tag is a self-closing tag with two attributes. So if you like what you see, guys, as always, please um, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.